Hey Digital Trailblazers, it's Leah Ray from digitaltrailblazer.com and today I'm going to give you a super simple quick step-by-step -step tutorial on how to upload a video to YouTube and show you the settings and the options that you want to use so that your video can get discovered so that you can rank your video and also protect your video from getting downloaded and re-uploaded to someone else's YouTube channel. Let's rock! So starting off, you obviously have to be on YouTube, youtube.com, and you're going to be logged in with your Gmail account or with your brand account that you've created for your channel. So you can see that right here. We are logged in as ourselves and you'll see this button here. It looks like a camera with a plus sign. This is what we click on and we're going to click the upload video option. Now we simply drag the video file from wherever you have it on your computer and drop it over here. Now I'm just going to grab one of our cute son, playing the drums. Once you've dropped your video into this pop-up, this is the next screen that comes up. It's going to default to a title that's really whatever the file name is for the video. Now you definitely want to change this. You want to think about what people would actually type into YouTube and find your video from. So don't name it something that no one is actually searching for. For example, if you made a video about how to play drums, don't name it, watch this if you want to be a drummer. No one's searching for that. Instead, put in the actual search term in the title, preferably at the beginning. So name it something like how to play drums, beginner's tutorial. Now the second field here is the description. Now at the very beginning of this, the first couple lines or so will show up or be visible when someone is searching YouTube for a video. So those first couple lines, you really want to entice them or tell them why they want to watch your video. What are they going to get out of it? After that, simply give a brief summary of the video and it is a good strategy to include that search term once or twice again within the description as well. So we wrote out a quick description here. Learn how to play your first drum beat in less than five minutes in this step-by-step -step tutorial on how to play drums. Now in this first line, we are enticing them on why they should watch the video because it's going to show up when they're looking at videos in search. And we're also throwing in some search terms that people might be looking for to give YouTube some clues to help it actually rank. Below that, we go in a little more detail about the tutorial, dropping that keyword again. And then below all of that, we actually have this here, a hashtag that we added. Now people are able to search YouTube with hashtags. And so having it in our description will help tell YouTube that it's applicable for this video. And we get a chance at actually ranking for that hashtag. Underneath the description is the thumbnail. You could theoretically grab one of the freeze frames from the video that they have selected, but it's always a best practice to actually upload a unique thumbnail. Just click on this button here. Then you'll grab the file that you created and it'll upload right there. If you need to learn how to create a great looking thumbnail, I'll make sure that we have down in the description, a link to a video that shows you how to do that. Below that, you see an option for playlist. Now, if this is your very first video and you haven't done anything else, you might not have any playlists created yet. So you could just click on this button and go to new playlist. A playlist is essentially a way to group a bunch of videos together. So for this example, we'd actually have a playlist, which is beginner drum beats, and it can go through several different videos teaching different drum beats for people who are just getting started. So once you're on this screen, simply put in the name of your playlist and you do want this public as well. Having it listed as public simply means that the public will be able to see this playlist on your channel. Now I'm gonna actually cancel because our channel isn't about drumming and I don't actually want that playlist. Audience, there's all kinds of COPPA stuff that's come out. Yes, if it is made for kids, you better say that it's made for kids. If it's not made for kids, then make sure that's set to no. You do wanna click on that more options and go down a little bit and we can get to the tags. Tags are super important. Now this is where you wanna put in those search terms that people will be looking for that should pull up your video. Now you do have 500 characters, so you have some room to play with this. You wanna put in any keywords that you've researched and you want to use. If you do need any help figuring out additional keywords, you have a little extra space or something you can use. If you use TubeBuddy, which we highly recommend, and we'll have a link for it down in the description, you can click on this button here and it's gonna give you some suggestions for additional tags that you can use for your video. So for example, free beginner drum lesson. I just click on that and it poof, adds it within our tags right here. 
So we've basically talked about one or two keywords or search terms that people will be looking for, but in reality, there's a lot of variations. People could be looking for uh, a bunch of different things that would be applicable to this video. So by putting these different phrases or terms in as tags, we're telling YouTube that that's applicable to this video and helps give us more of a chance to actually rank for these terms. Now, most of these are probably set correctly, but you do want to double check under license and distribution. You want this set to standard YouTube license. If you have this selected creative commons, that actually allows other people to use your video on their channel. So you don't want that selected. Make sure you have it set to YouTube standard license. You can also select the appropriate category if you don't have that set for your channel. And I think it's wise under comments and ratings to hold inappropriate comments for review. So if you see the other options here, you can allow all comments and disable comments. You do want comments on your videos, but if you can have them uh, put a little filter on them for you, that's always helpful. So you will still see all of the comments, but not everyone else can see them if they think that it might be inappropriate. They'll hold them for you for you to approve. So go ahead and click this blue button for next. Now, if this is your very first video on YouTube, you won't have anything to worry about for monetization because you will not yet be monetized. Once you are monetized, you'll probably have this set at a default level for your entire channel, but if not, this is how you do it on an individual video. Simply click on this button here and then turn this to on. And now you can choose what ads you want to allow and where these ads show up, whether the, before the video, during, or after. Go ahead and hit this next button. Next, you're able to add end screens and cards to the video. Now you can do that here with a little add buttons, or you can do that once we get out of the small box. And that's kind of where I like to work a little bit better. So let's go ahead and get through here and hit the next button. So you don't want to set this to public right away. You want to actually schedule your content to go public for a specific time when your viewers are most likely to be online. This also helps prevent copyright strikes. Now, if you're borrowing any content and clips from videos or songs or anything like that, there's a chance that there might be copyright issues. So if you upload a video as private first, you will actually get a copyright warning, but not a strike, which is much better for you and your channel. Now, unlisted videos don't give you that protection. So make sure that you're uploading your videos as private first, and then you can schedule it to go public when you're ready. So we have this on private. So we're just gonna hit save. Now, depending on the length of your video, it might be still uploading or it might be over in processing but ours, you can see, is fully uploaded and ready to go. If it was still uploading or if it was still processing, you would see that here. You can go in and edit this here in the details option so you can make any changes and double check anything you want before you actually set it to public. So everything we just went through in the pop-up window, you can edit here, your title, description, thumbnail, tags, all of that is editable within this view. Now the two things that we haven't done yet are our cards and our end screen. So let's head over to cards first. Simply click on this little button and it's gonna open a new window or new tab on your computer. So this is gonna bring up your video and allow you to have a little pop-up in the upper right corner of your screen, a little info card that will can send them off to a new video, a playlist of videos, or even a verified website. So you simply move this blue cursor or drag it around to where you want it to come up and then you hit this add card option. So we have all of these options, a link, a poll, you can actually send another channel if you're doing any sort of collaboration or video or playlist. 90% of the time I'd say that we use video or playlist. You can click on that here. You can just scroll through and grab a video or you can actually put in the URL as well. Now you can leave it as is and just create card or you can click this right here you can change the text that comes up and tell them what they need to do and why they would want to watch this video. So I'd throw a teaser text in there, pretending this is another drum video, saying learn the next beginner beat. And I'd say create card by hitting that blue button. Pull this back just a little bit. We'll play this for you and you'll see what this looks like. There you go, learn the next beginner beat. If they click on it, that's what they'd see. And they can click on that video and jump over to the next one. After this is all set, you'll see it automatically saves. All changes are saved. So you can close this tab and you're back here. So the final thing we need to do is end screen. So click on this little 
edit button for end screens. Now the end screens are pop-ups that can overlay on top of the video for the last 20 seconds of the video. Here's where you can push them off to the next video. You can tell them to subscribe. You can send them off to a website or even push them to an entire playlist. Now I don't suggest doing all of those on one video. You want to keep it simple, maybe two options for them. Now you'll see there's actually several templates already in here from YouTube, which keeps it really simple. So you could do something as simple as this one video and one playlist hit this plus button. And there you go. Now you see this is highlighted in blue and it says best for viewer. And so that's what this is right here. So I could adjust this if I wanted it placed differently on the screen. As it says here, best for viewer allows YouTube to make the choice to choose the best video from your channel for that viewer to suggest for them to watch next. You can also choose a specific video if you have one in mind. You'll have your full video library here of all of your uploads and you can grab one here. Now I'm going to click over on the playlist option and I can choose a playlist and here it's going to show me all of the playlists that I have available. And again, if I wanted this in the upper corner or over here, I can move it around however I would like. Now, if you decide you don't want this playlist, it is highlighted. You can simply hit the delete button and it goes away. At this point, if you want to add anything else, there is this button in the upper left element and you can click on this and choose any of these options here you can add the subscribe button. There you go. Cute little round subscribe button. We're going to throw that down there and then you'd simply hit save. All right. Once you are at this point, you are fully ready to go. Remember we're still in private mode. So we need to either switch it directly to public or even better, you can actually schedule it. So if we set it right now to public and we hit save, it would be live for everyone on the internet. However, we could schedule it. So say you're working on this late at night and you, you know, no one's going to be watching right now. You want it to go live maybe 7 a.m. in the morning. No problem. Hit the schedule button and then choose the date that you want it to go live on and then the time. And you can scroll through. Let's do 7 a.m. And the time zone, it always defaults to your local time wherever you are doing this as the creator. Go ahead and hit that done button. And voila, you're good to go. We're going to hit the save, make it official. And now this video is scheduled to go live tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Congratulations. You just uploaded your first YouTube video. Now, as I promised, if you want to learn how to get monetized on your channel, how to as quickly as possible, get to the point that you can start making money when people are just watching your videos, you want to watch this video next upper right corner of your screen or at the top of the description. I'll see you there.